Do we have sound? Are we live, everyone? Oh, we're live. Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live, number 70. And if you'll shut that door when you come back in here, that would be awesome. It'll kill some the of this. Uh, first one of 2020, sucker. That's right. Whole new decade. Whole new millennia. <laughs> I don't think so. The lily of the knife. I don't think so. You uh, even told me what the year was. Last year was the year of the pig. This year's the year of the, the rat. The rat. Thank yep. you. Yep. I was born under the year of the rat. 1972. <laughs> you can see that. It I happens. was born under the year of the dragon. Year of the dragon. <sighs> me and Bruce Lee. Guys, welcome to the show. We're brought to you by <laughs> Smoke. No. <laughs> No, I can show you how uh, you were with Bruce, but that's not going to be appropriate. <laughs> <clears throat> Welcome to Guys Talk Knives Live. We're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Life Works, smkw.com. Thank you for a banner 2019. Ah, no kidding. It was excellent. Yeah, it was excellent. There was just... And let, let even the business side out of it. Yes. The, the building of our social media crew, our family on social media this past year was amazing. 111,700 people as of this morning just on Facebook. And how many in the group? Uh, on the group, nearly 4,000. Nearly 4,000. We're 4, right towards 4,000. And those are two places that, to me, yeah. are the... They're the exception that proves the rule for me. Yeah. It is not... It is not a social media area full of trolls, no. full of nastiness. It is good people who like sharp and pointy things well, of all shapes, form, and fashions that can hang out and have fun, Chad. We have a good group of people. Yeah. We have spent three and a half, four years now weeding out people who just can't play nice on the internet. That's right. So you can't play nice, you go home. Yeah. It just is what it is. And, and um, we're open about it. And then... It's not, it's not oh, we're going to... This is all behind the scenes. No, here are the rules. Be nice. Yeah, and then when we build that community, it polices itself, which yep. is fantastic because those people want that. They want that safe space to talk sharp and pointy things. It's like Patrick Swayze's Roadhouse. It is. Be nice. Be nice. Until you have to be nice. Exactly. <laughs> but no, it, it is a fun place to hang out, and the people are awesome. <coughs> I, I just, I dig it. Can I apologize for a second? Because it was me who was sick last week. Yeah, he was. He was. I, I was gone. I mean, the was phlegm under. monster was going insane. Yeah. I was. I was. I'm pretty sure I had a fever that day before I uh, oh, headed yeah. out the door. I, you didn't want to see him. <laughs> it was. I ugly. didn't want to sit next to him. <coughs> I still got it going here. Yeah, someplace. you're still you're still not a hundred percent. Where my wife works, they literally this past Monday shut down the office and wow. said, and you know where she works. Yeah, it's a big place. Yeah, they shut down the office and said, everybody work from home. You're all sick and nasty. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, so, you know it didn't happen because I was sick. We didn't tell anybody who won last week. We didn't get to. No, that's true. We yeah, didn't. yeah, we had some stuff that came up, and let's go ahead and do that right now. Um, we gave away that K. Hey, blah, 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 start over. That K bar <laughs> folding hunter. Oh yeah, and Nathan Bashaw picked that. Go up. Nathan. We also gave away that CRKT Ruger compact. And, Very cool. Uh, that was um, follow through compact is what that was, and yeah. that was uh, Mario Messina. Rock on, Nathan and Mario. I want action shots of these being carried now. Molina pointed this out to me because she does the contacting and that stuff. Oh, no. Mario Messina makes the coolest miniatures I have ever seen. And not, not like mini knives, like miniature sets, like houses, pottery, chairs, really? furniture, lamps. Unbelievable. Uh, yeah, I spent like 30 I've minutes go just dig. cruising through. Is it on his Facebook page? I believe so. I'm going to have to go dig up in that So one. That's those, cool. Yeah, those are our two winners there. The other thing that ended up at the end of the year was the uh, General's Box that we gave away from the unboxing sure. video. Uh, that that we looked into. Don Harned, he still hasn't con contacted us yet. So Don Harned was the winner of the box. And then Tyler threw in the extra Tops Operator 7 on that. Rock on. And Bud George has already contacted us. Go, Bud, Bud George. Bud George won uh, Top Operator 7 Blackout as second prize. Look at these. These notes are from last week. They don't even they don't even have they don't even matter anymore. It's I, okay. Oh, this one does. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Uh, if you haven't participated in our auctions, those happen every Friday on Facebook around four o'clock. They're pretty cool. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. You are under you are you are understating that, sir. <laughs> those auctions are very cool because you never really know what Molina's gonna find to put on there. And some amazing stuff. Some really cool knife history and yeah. some one of a kind pieces that you're not going to find anywhere else. Mm -hmm. And okay, I take that back. If you were in a store somewhere, you might see them. 
Yeah. But these pieces are handpicked, and and she has picked them for a purpose, and you know they 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 tweaked her her imagination and her her mind at that point in which she went up. Oh, this one. This is the one. And we've had everything from like old, um, old knives, old traditional slip joints sure. to bench mates. Yeah, yeah. No, or it doesn't have mates. to be. It doesn't have to be some. Oh, this is eight hundred years old. No, 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 no. Kind of be an old knife. It really would. But uh, it could. You know, it, it very well could be a uh, you know a pre-production run from from Spider Co. Sure. Bench mate or whoever. Yeah. Um, so they're really really fun. To, even if you don't auction or don't buy anything on the auction. Go look at them because they're a lot of fun. Should we do this next? Yes, we should. <laughs> those are exciting. We sold quite a few of those yes, over the last few days. Up, I'm gonna pull them out. So, whoa! Throw Swiss Army knives <laughs> at me. Whatever I want to throw at you. Okay, in case you didn't see them go up on the site. It's like they have a little flag. <laughs> <laughs> we, we have three new styles of. Did I say two? <laughs> I did not say two. We have three new styles of these. Where's Ooh, the other? Okay, where's William's the army? That. Oh, there, there it is. Um, of these uh, Swiss Army knives, Victoria yes. Knox Swiss Army knives. The tinker and the SM sharper, Classic. sharper things version. We've got the SMKW Army version, and Jason has the knives. Yeah, friend style. Friend style. Now I can hold them down here, and I can show you right here. Camera two. So check that out. Sharper Love things it. on that side. SMKW.com on that side. That one maybe my on favorite. the Army one. You've got SMKW Army. I love the green on this. It Love came the green out. on that. Yes. And then smkw.com on the back, and then you've got the friends version, or I'm sorry, the knives version. Yep. That friends way, style. and I love the back one of this, guys. That's yeah. the SMKW Army. That is my favorite back. Yeah. Of all three. Look at my nasty fingerprint on here. No, yeah, they show up pretty good. Um, we've got those. Those are twenty four ninety nine each, and then we've got their little compatriots here uh, as the classic SDs, and those are sixteen ninety nine yeah. each. Um, go grab them. They're a short run, so just going to yeah, let you know. All, if you go to the homepage of the website, just smkw.com, we've got a nice big banner up that has a link to all six of them. They're yep. easy to find. They are all still in stock right now. They are not going to stay that way for long, so if you're interested, buy one. Yep. You can get a knife to match. You can get two knives to match your favorite t-shirt. It's, they're cool. Come on. They're cool stuff. So yeah. I especially like the SMKW Army one. Yeah, one of those maybe going home. With yeah. As a matter of I fact. designed it. It might go in my pocket under my little claws that I have. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and we've got, uh, speaking of Bigfoot, <coughs> we've got the Bigfoot Tinker. Yeah, it's back. Stock. Yeah. Uh, and those. Bigfoot is back. Really, really quick. So go buy that one as Big well. Bigfoot is back. Big, big foo. <laughs> Bigfoot, you big, big foo. foo. You a big foo. Ooh, a big, big foo. foo. Okay, so this show today is unlike any of the other shows we've done. Ever? Ever. I guess it you is. You know why? Because <laughs> I was being a smart aleck, but yeah. But it's because you guys told us what you wanted to see, and I went through and grabbed some of the different things that uh, were there. and We uh, said yes. Yeah. Yes, we, we will. We were like, this makes it a little easier. <laughs> I don't have to actually pick anything. So this is going to be the format of the shows from now on. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to tell us what you want to see, and we're going to show it to you. So first up is the Spider Co. Pair of yes. Lightweight. Oh, I'm going to Spidey flick It's okay. Yeah, flick it. Oh, there you are. I did it. Let's put it down here. Oh, tell them about this. Okay, thing. so Spyderco Para 3 Lightweight. It's a 2.6 inch black DLC coated CTS BD1N clip point blade. Now, that's a whole lot of language to say this is an upgraded steel with uh -huh. a DLC coating. A 2.6 inch black blade. It's an eighth of an inch thick. Uh -huh. Has the trademark round hole, aka the Spidey hole. It has a compression lock, and if you know anything, yes. you know that I love Spider Co's compression locks yes. a lot. Uh -huh. To me, it is a much better form of a liner lock. Um, black FRN handle with a bi directional texture pattern, lanyard hole, ambidextrous tip up pocket clip, and the hardware has also been black coated. So, this is a blackout pair of three lightweight. Yeah. Uh, 4.3 inches closed, 7.2 inches overall, 2.5 ounces, made in the USA by Spider Co. And the price tag on this bad boy? Is 104 even. Yeah, so you're getting an upgraded version of a pair of three. Um, I like the oversized round hole on this. Two. I do, I do. This is actually a smaller, like, so the pair of two, two is a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. Yeah, and the pair of three is a little bit smaller, but it still feels great. And I tell you yeah. what, with this being the lightweight version, you have that FRN handle, you have that compression lock. They have shed as much weight out of this knife as they uh -huh. can. And you can really tell the difference when you pick it up compared to like a pair of two. Sure. Or even a regular pair of three. Oh, yeah. You go, 
it doesn't really weigh anything. I mean, this in your pocket, even, and, and it does have that wire pocket clip again mm-hmm. to shed weight. Um, after you get used to it, it's it feels great in your pocket. And I love the compression. Love the compression. Me lock. too. I think that's the best thing they've done. Everything works the way it's supposed to. It all feels just like a Spyderco. Just really, really light. Yes. I dig it. I dig it quite a lot. Blackout. And that's 104 bucks. I mean, you're getting an upgraded steel. You're Mm -hmm. getting Mm -hmm. a super lightweight EDC. Mm -hmm. That's not really a bad price at all. No. Especially when you pop it out. Telling you. Ready to use. Just grab that hole real tight. And flick. And flick. And it's yeah. out. And then you use your little compression lock and lock it back down yes, right here. Can. It just opens either way you want it. And your finger's not inside where the blade goes That's when you're true. closing your That's knife. absolutely true. It has the... Okay, for me, the compression lock has made me a little bit biased toward a liner lock. Has it done that to you yet? Uh, a bit. I agree with you. I love the compression lock. I want to show you something on camera, too, really quick, because I didn't notice it until just now. Look at that jumping. Oh yeah! I had no idea that jumping was no, there. No, for but sure. You could do pull. You could do cuts like that, and you've got a nice and it's grip. Really easy on your hand. Yes, that's really cool. Yeah. Boom. Yeah. Boom. Boom. It's a spider coat. There's <coughs> a crap ton of detail, and it just I'm, they make good stuff. So you know what happened in between the time I was sick and we were supposed to show this? They're gone. This is the last one. Yeah, that's right, right here. You want it. We've got other pair of threes on the site we right do. now, but this one is the last one. I'd imagine we'll get more of those pair of three lightweights in. Yes. Uh, they have sold really well, but yes, that is the last one of those. Yes. So what, a few hours, Melanie, it'll be back on the site? Yeah. And it'll be gone probably before we all go home for the day. Probably. <laughs> probably. It's a really cool night, but there's yeah, a ton of spider go out there. Spider. Just go check it out. Uh, what's up next? Next up is the Benchmade Outlast that I have not gotten a chance to play with, though... Melina teased me with a pic she put on Instagram, and I was like, oh, <laughs> you meanness. This is an interesting knife oh. because most of the time Benchmade does not do two blades, and this knife actually has two Look blades. Look at that. I can actually show you guys down here on camera, too, as Jason hits the spec. You've got a you know this nice big plane edge, and then you have the rescue blade as well. So this is the Benchmade Outlast. It has a 3.6-inch CPM S30V drop point blade with a Cerakote finish and a thumb stud opener. It also has a 3.2 inch CPM 3V opposing bevel blade with a Cerakote finish. (coughs) Has a thumb hole opener on that one. Mm -hmm. Um, It has, let's see, axis lock of course, G10 handle, ambidextrous step up pocket clip, integrated rescue hook. Oh yeah, it's here too. It's uh, on the, hang on. Flip that sucker out. Here it is. Yeah. Integrated rescue hook built into the back. Uh has a carbide glass breaker. It is almost six ounces, made in the U.S. Um, that's just a really neat design, I think, from, from Benchmade. It, it's interesting for sure. Um, I'm not crazy about it. I'll just be dead honest. I'm not crazy about it. It takes it. And it's because I'm used to the way other Benchmades behave. Yep. And because this one has two blades, it doesn't quite behave the way I expect, expect it, it to. to. Yes. It behaves exactly as it should yes. and as it's designed yes. to. It just doesn't have that same, like the bug out. You could just freaking, yeah. <laughs> Do you remember, this was, geez, this was 20 years ago, um, the Buck Solitaire? Yes. And they had the duo that had the uh, gut hook, the seatbelt cutter, Uh huh. and then they also had the regular plane blade? Yes. This reminds me of an upgraded, more fancy version of that. Um, that smoothness, though, in the action with the thumb stud is perfect. Um, that This one's a little bit harder for me to get open, but I think after you get used to that, this is going to become a very useful, especially if you're using this. Especially if you're a rescue paramedic. Yeah, uh, there's no no tip Mm -hmm. on this. You're not going to cut yourself here. So if you're cutting something, you've got this nice, good, wavy ground edge to cut with. Seatbelts. Yeah, perfect for seatbelts. And again, they both work with that access lock. And then, of course, you also have... There's your real seatbelt cutter. This great seatbelt cutter on the back. So you've got kind of a strap cutter and a seatbelt cutter built into yeah. it. Um, I want that to lock. I don't think you're going to have to have it locked. No, you're not because you're pulling against it. Yeah. But I want it to lock whenever yeah. I open it. Right. Um, yeah. Question. Question. Can you spot it like the blunt blade? The blunt blade? No. I can barely move the blunt, blunt blade. And the reason... I couldn't. I might be able to. Hang on. You can certainly double flick it the rest of the way. There yeah, you go. pretty close. I think once you got used to it, I it probably needs some pivot oil too. Just, just saying, and then it would go a little bit better. That's a lot of blades, and they are side by side inside this Benchmade. 
Let me see if I can do that. You got it? No, it won't go. It's so really your axis lock is holding on to these, right? Yeah. So it's it's making it a little harder to move, but yeah, no, yeah. It, it it takes some getting used to. I think after you get used to it and you use it a good bit, maybe a little bit of oil in there, some coon pee. I think you're probably fine. I think that is. Well, and that's one of the reasons why I think those blades are a little bit more persistent in their stationary place on that knife. You know, we really need to break out some windows sometimes. We've got a, a, a hookup for a, a... We just need to do it. We yeah, we should go do to, it. We need to have them shipped here. For a we'll junkyard. Do it right here in the studio. <laughs> then we've got to clean it up. Oh, we don't have to. No, we're going to go on... That's why we have to go out. Floor. Floor. No, we're going to go out to a junkyard and pop windows. <laughs> we got a question, Moya? Yeah. Uh, which, 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 are, which, bleh, which do you prefer, the axis lock or a compression lock? Oh, that's a good question. Which well, do we prefer, the axis lock or the compression lock? Oh, okay. So six on one hand, half dozen on the other. Me, you're getting the same idea, right? So uh, my fingers are out of the way to I can yeah. drop close like this. I can sit here and drop close. It's I like them both. Yes. Um, I'm gonna say compression lock. Yeah. Um, I have nail knife with an access lock. I like it. Uh, it's that uh, the one that that uh, Jimmy slashed at me. Yeah. Um, I dig that that book. Gerber, burger, burger, burger. No, I don't think we Crap. have a burger tonight. I forget which brand it was. I apologize. Anyway, but I've got an access lock now, um, and I like it. But there's something about that. So here's what I would say is the biggest difference um, for me, and I would probably lean you what you're saying and go compression lock over access lock. And here's why: with the uh, compression lock, I don't have to really make any other effort than to just take my finger, hold here, and drop close. Yeah. Right. Yeah. With an access lock, I have to use two fingers on each side. I have to gr put this into my palm, yeah. and then pull down. I have to have some resistance against the pull down it's to a make couple of different close. motions in there yes I, I tell you i would add into this mix though if we're going to talk relatively new locks a different style of lock than maybe a lock back or a liner lock or a frame lock mm -hmm. i'm going to add in deadbolt yeah deadbolt's going to be kind of cool too because there's something about the fact that you can hear that disengage and that blade is immediately down and if you don't know what we're talking about look up the seismic on the site from crkt <laughs> yeah. and there'll be a whole bunch of new stuff coming from crkt yes, there is. very soon using that technology that has the deadbolt technology yep. um, i like both of those and thank you for put for you guys for sending this one in because <coughs> i hadn't got a chance to see that what was the price tag on that one again? uh 255 hmm. 255 but you've got an s you have two blades you have an s35 you have an S. You have a CPM 3V in there mm -hmm. for the uh, the blunt blade. You also have a carbide uh, glass punch, and you've got a rescue hook on the bottom. So you've got a lot of technology and bench warranty and everything. Yeah, yes. for sure. It's all good. So that for 255, not bad. Going from 255 to exactly uh, 17, 17, yeah, 17 bucks. Uh, we did have a request. That is a jump. This was, I think, John Owen requested this one. John, who we got to meet in the store was kind of fun. That is such a This is nice. the Rough Rider Stacked Leather Hunter. We're yep. going to go right down here to it. This is such a gorgeous traditional knife. Look at it. I mean, it just looks so good. It's kind of pretty. Yeah, it is. So it's a 4.75 inch, 440A satin, uh, satin finish clip point blade. It's 3 sixteenths of an inch thick. It has jumping on, along that back. You can see that nice, just that nice ridge where your thumb is going to go. Stack leather handle, aluminum guard and pommel, brass end screw right there on the end to yeah. kind of accent everything. Has a leather belt sheath, 10.25 inches overall, eight and a half ounces in weight. Um, right. That's just a solid hunting knife. Well, I mean, it's a traditional hunting knife, and yep. we're, we're not going to play like it's not imported. It is imported, sure. but it does feel good in hand. It's got some heft to it. It comes with the traditional belt sheath. Yep. Um, if you just wanted a fun little hunter, that's not going to break the bank. 17 bucks. Yeah, great price product. point. And of course, again, with them, it's built by hand back for life. Yeah. So you have a problem with it or you don't like the qualities, you got to send it back. We'll give you a refund or replace exactly. it. Exactly, replace it. Yep. Um, love the way the, the leather is finished very, very well. There is no, you can't fill any ridges on that. You can't fill where it's, you know, one of the, the spaces, one of the spacers is, is different. 
when you we haven't really talked about this stacked leather it, it's legit these little discs of leather have yeah. been stacked and compressed on top of each other think shish kebab yeah and you know they, they run all along the tang of this knife um, and this screw holds everything in place nice and tight and then they actually take and, and finish this so that it's the, the shape you want yeah got this nice old guard on it yeah. um, and just a, a good solid it's little it's just knife. a nice inexpensive traditional hunting knife yeah um, 17 bucks? 17 bucks. It's, you know, come on. It's pretty decent. I think it's great. Yeah. For $17? It's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, you just, you really can't touch that. I'm touching it now. Touch it, touch it again. <laughs> so, oh. we're going to go back to back Rough Riders. Yes, indeed. And I think John Owen asked for this one as well. I love this series. This is brand new. Yes, it is. We're going right down here. This is part of the. Stuff out of the way. <laughs> this is, I wondered why you put it back in the same place. Uh, this is part of the Artisan Wood series from Rough Rider. This is the small toothpick. Um, the Artisan Wood all has that wonderful Artisan Wood handle. Uh, they look tremendous. What you're looking at on this, um, they feature a high polished 440A, this entire series. High polished 440A stainless steel blade uh, with half stops, match strike pulls. The handles are genuine wood with nickel silver slant art bolsters and the 20th anniversary shield which again if y'all been watching that's probably my favorite shield we've done in a long time um, the small toothpick has a 2.25 inch clip point blade it's three inches closed 5.25 inches overall and of course like we've already said always built by hand and back for life that little toothpick is if you're looking for a small pocket knife just yes. to drop in your pocket yeah. There might not be any no, that, Yes, this this little toothpick is a great knife just to drop in your pocket with the rest of your change and your keys. Keep growing on me. Yeah. I'm not a big toothpick fan. No. That and the lady leg, but that one in particular is growing on me. Yeah. I love that it still has the half stops in it. Yeah. This is part of a series that we're literally, the stuff is on the water right now. Yeah, yeah we've got yeah, a few so, of them in. Uh, but uh, more of these will come in. I remember when I saw the sample on these. Um, they want to say it's burl wood. I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that it's actual burl wood. It is genuine wood. Yes. It has been dyed. And what I thought of the instant that I saw it, and you can look at it right there, I thought of like a Monet, like an impressionist painting. Oh, sure. No, no, I, mean, I can definitely see It's got that. those greens and purples and, and, and that kind of stuff uh, no, in, I the, can, in the dye. And I can it's for held sure it see that. really, really well. Well, and, and when you're talking burl, you're, you're talking about those, the, the any, okay, if you see a tree, and it's got those big lumps on the side or down at the bottom right. has a big root ball. That's a burl. Right. Um, you can actually make good money taking burls out of the ground. Yes. And they've made the, they made the handle to look like a burled piece of wood. Um, again, I'm like Andy. I don't know, I, I don't know that burl. it is actual burl, but it does look like burl it and it like is a, genuine wood. And they look amazing. Uh, they've ta I'm like you. They've taken the dye really well. And it has that Rough Rider feel. There's yeah, no, I, there's no line across the back. Everything is right in place where it's supposed to be. I think there's a Stockman, a Canoe, some other Trapper for sure. There is, yeah. And some other stuff coming in that series. And of course, those come with the collector's box. Melina, we've got wood. two of these in stock now. You have the Equestrian knife that's like that, and this one. And this one, yeah. yeah. We've got those two. And the Equestrian's Trapper, if you've not seen that, it's a standard Trapper with a clip, and then it's got a pick. A it's got a pick on the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Um, what's the price tag? $14.99. Um, I was looking at the microtech price. I was like, $289. No, uh, yeah, $9.99. $10. Question? It looks like, it's not a question. It looks like we've just gotten some more in since Friday. Oh, cool. Nice. Uh, loading. Loading. Excellent. So we may have some more of these on the page right now. Just type in artisan wood. Yeah. Or go to the Rough Rider little, page. These will be at the top. Yeah. yeah. Nice little knife. Yeah. Just Good request, John. Yeah, really, really neat piece. <coughs> and now, oh, Microtech. Well, that's a big change, isn't it? It is, right? From a very traditional small toothpick mm -hmm. to a big fancy. To an adult fidget spinner. Pretty much. It really is, right? It's just a completely badass automatic it's knife. <laughs> it I love neat. it. I love it. This is the Microtech UTX 85. So, again, if you're paying attention to Microtech, 85 means that this is 85% of a regular sized UTX. Um, this is the TE version. It is a 3.125 inch LMAX steel Tanto blade. It is a 13th of an inch thick. 
dual action out the front auto, thumb slide activated, aluminum handle, ambidextrous tip down pocket clip because you can of course take the, pocket, the uh, glass breaker off and change the sides on that. Yeah. Uh, glass breaker, four and a half inches closed, 7.625 inches overall, and it is made in the USA by Microtech. Yes, and it goes. This is wonderful. It has such a satisfying snap. <coughs> it feels good. It looks good. It's a little less hard than some of their other models. It's the size. <coughs> um, right. There's for my hands, for my feel, this 85 and the 70 mm -hmm. are easier for me than the full size UTX. Right. Um, everybody's different. Everybody's got to find their own likes and dislikes. Um, I just there's nothing about this knife that I don't really kind of dig. Check out the little carbide. Ball bearing in there. Yeah, you little it? tiny, little tiny bar ball bearing on the end for popping out windows. Yep. If you want to pretend you're John Wick, and, and then you know have to cut somebody. Uh, it just is. I love that blade. Yeah, and there, it's just a good looking knife. Yeah, it's got a two tone finish on it, which is kind of nice. Yeah, it just looks. It's great. pretty. What's the price tag on this? So on this that one is two thirty seven. Two thirty seven for this Microtech eighty five. American 85. made. It has L Max steel. <laughs> It has all of those those pieces that you want in a switchblade. <laughs> Excuse me, an automatic. <laughs> switchblades are verboten. <laughs> it ain't no switchblade, Jason. It's an OTS. It's an, automatic. it's an automatic dual action. I love it. It's nice. Yeah. It's real pretty. Kind of like it. Oh no, I really like it. <coughs> um, and again, you think the two thirty seven is a lot of money, but not for a Microtech. That's a that's yeah, a pretty good price point. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty yeah. good price point. The next one, whoo, it's, I, I've wanted to see what this was all about for a while. It is that Tops, <laughs> what are they calling this thing? The it's Dicer. The, the Dicer. The Dicer. Top decided chef's to make knife. a chef's knife. <laughs> Which, nothing screams like cooking in the kitchen, like hey. a little Kydex sheath and a whistle. <laughs> Sup is on. Sup is on. You, I, I would love to have that, take the sheath out of the way, probably keep the, the whistle just in case, but uh, just melt that right underneath the cabinet there on a, on a little piece of magnet. So when you're ready to do some real cutting, yeah. you've got it ready so, to use. Let's hit the specs on this <laughs> because it's kind of crazy. This is a huge 8 inch knife. By yes. tops. Yes. Done. No. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a 7.75 inch CPM S30VN chef's blade. Yes, an S30V. S35. I'm sorry, that's what it says. I wrote no. it wrong in the notes. S35V Chef's blade. If you need an upgraded steel, high-end super steel in your kitchen, <laughs> yeah, you can do it. Has a tumble finish. It, it's an eighth of an inch thick, full tank construction, uh, black ma canvas Macara and G10 handle, black Kydex sheath designed by Jesus Arellano. Ar 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 uh, I don't know. A R E L L A N O. Please let us know how much we're butchering your name, and we apologize. Uh, 12 and a quarter inches overall, 9.1 ounces, made in the USA. If you are a cook, if you like to cook, this knife feels so good in your hand. So a I'm couple things you. that I'll point out here, too. Look at what they've done here with the Micarta yeah. on the, not the Micarta, the G10 on the, uh, I guess that is Micarta up top. Yeah. To make a pinch grip. I'm going to hold it directly at the camera see if I can do that. See how that pinches in on both sides? Yep. I mean, so it gives you a nice pinch. And that's where you can see the Micarta. G10 overlays on top of that. Uh-huh. It's just, it's just, it's interesting to me, and here's why. It's S35, right? <laughs> yeah. So most kitchen knives are made not with um, super steel. No. And that's because you need to sharpen them on a regular basis, right? You, but. This may stay sharp for a long time, but... You'll work to put an edge on it. Right. You're gonna work to put an edge on it, but I'm telling you, out of the box, uh, I'm sure it's super that sharp. rivals any. You're about to ruin this with paper. I'm gonna see if it is. It's so sad. Oh. I'm telling you, that rivals any of our kitchen cutlery that we have downstairs. That's pretty good. I have no need for an S35 8 inch tops kitchen knife, but you want one. But to be honest, at 180 bucks. That's a lot of steel in that knife. And you can make confetti with it. It's just going on the floor with the rest of the mess. Here's my idea. Good lord. Just, can I just sit here and do this the rest of the time? You can. 
Just buy this knife and use it as your field knife. So here's what I would say about that. I was going to go there because I believe that's true. This is, okay, you need a knife for camp. Yes. The edge is going to stay there forever. It's got the protective coating on it. It's got a Kydex sheath. If you get lost while you're making the short ribs in the middle of the woods, you can blow your whistle or just tell everybody dinner's done. But this could stay in your pack for a good long time oh, yeah. and be an actual chef's knife on the spot. On the, in the field. Whoa. And it would work for butchering small game, potatoes, potatoes. making stew. Because potatoes need butchering. Or <laughs> an intruder in your house. I'm telling you. It's kind of crazy. <laughs> it's a lot of knife, everybody. It's a lot of knife. Um, it feels superb. Yeah. We've talked about it for the last year bringing a chef in. Yes. We're doing it this year. Are we? Yes. I, I bet you're lying. No, no, we're going to do it this year. <laughs> we're going to go see him. Um, I want to take this when we do it hmm. and see what somebody who does it? this every day. Because I cook most nights at the house during the week especially. Mm-hmm. I would enjoy yeah. using this. Right. But I'm never going to use it $180 worth. I, yeah, I feel you on that. I mean, it just is what it is. I think there's a lot of people who pick these up who absolutely love them. I guarantee they do. Yeah. I, I, I think it's glorious. Pretty nifty. 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 It can be nifty. It's nifty. has that great, that great pops sheath just yeah. popped in there, not yep. going anywhere. I'm telling you, just buy this, and this becomes your camp knife. Don't do that. <laughs> just, <laughs> that becomes your, it stays in the sheath forever. <laughs> you melt it on your back. <laughs> you take it off, and you're like, I've got, yeah. You've got celery now, my friend. <laughs> what was the price the action on that? 180. 180. The most finely diced celery on the planet. Mm-hmm. Oh. And up next, DPX Hest. The Hest. The Hest. I dig it. <laughs> this is the first time we've had the Hest on the show, isn't it? Uh, I think we've had a, have have had it one other time. Okay. Uh, but not, not this version, for sure. Gotcha. This is the DPX Hest, H-E-S-T. Uh, built to be a brutal EDC fixed blade, and it most certainly is. That is just a nice little compact everyday carry fixed blade. Yes. A uh, 3.125 inch 1095 carbon steel drop point blade. It has a desert tan powder coating. It is a 19th of an inch thick, full tank construction, tan micarta handle scales, and that tan looks really, really good on that tan. Yeah, it's a nice light tan. Uh, brass hardware. It has a pry bar it right does. there yeah. on the end. Yeah. I mean, a, a, a little bit of a, just a nasty little pry bar. So I don't see that as a pry bar. <laughs> I completely see that as a pry bar. I see it as a pry bar, too, but I see it as I could really move you even with the sheath on. Oh, I'm telling you what I'm going to pry with it. <laughs> your skull. Uh, <laughs> Look at the extra lashing holes, too. Extra lashing holes so you could, you know, make it into a spear if you needed to. It has a wire breaker. Yes. Which I would say would also work as a bottle opener. Oh yeah, bottle opener, lifter, and thumb control point. Uh, Black's Kydex sheath with a lanyard designed by... Is this supposed to be Robert? I believe so. Unless Robert, you want to call him Rober. Like Robert, Rober. Robert Young Pelton. Uh, it is 7.6 inches overall, 4.4 ounces, made in the USA by DPX. And I like their, their name of it. It is a brutal little EDC. Yes. That's a tool. Made by DPX, not to be confused with DMX. Oh, that's not your that's not your No, that's wire their cutter. Cutter. There's the There's wire cutter. There's the wire cutter. I know. I realized that it's after okay. I pointed. Um that That's a tool. Yeah, no, it's a great This is easy. not a knife. This is a tool. For whatever you're gonna use it for. I like how thin it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, look at the look at the profile on that. So that's about the size that's of an SE three. I kinda yeah. like it, yeah. But but it has some extra flair to it. Mm-hmm. Um, I really, and it's got a bottle opener. I mean, mm-hmm. come on. That means while I'm out and, you know, doing whatever, everyday carrying, I wish that this was cut down where I could use a bottle opener. <laughs> I knew you were going to go there. I knew you were going for That'd it. That'd be really, really cool. But just, and then you can, you know, start prying open boxes. <laughs> or, to be honest, I'm like Andy. Yeah, oh, it'd be. Punch a fool. It becomes a. I mean, it becomes a pressure point. People. Oh yeah, it's a, it's a controller. Yeah, yeah. So, I, I like this. What's the price like point it. on this thing? Uh, that is one hundred five. One hundred five from DPX. Yep. The Hest. I, I like it. I we got like a bunch of different colors in these too. We do. So. Yeah. 
Go uh, check out everything in the in the DPX brand category. Yes. There's some really cool that stuff, and their the price points are... Yes, it does. Yeah, it does. That goes that. You get a little nice little clip you can put on there. You can put this in scout carry. You can put it I'm on your waist. You. This, more companies need to provide this. Agreed. Um, there is something very nice about having just a, a nice piece of Kydex with your clip on there that you can attach wherever you want it to go. And then just you can just slide that onto whatever pack, belt, whatever. Mm -hmm. That's groovy. Nice from DPX. Yeah, I thought that went with this for a minute. I was like, how Did are we have the white cups mixed up? We do, I bet. Because this is the full size Ultra Tech that I just played with, and you have the 85 in your <laughs> hands. <laughs> yes, you are correct. Let's see what the blade point is on that one. Yeah, you did. Well, they're both the same. Yeah, no look, and you can see the difference. Yeah. Let's go raw. So here. there we are. No, no. <laughs> yep. Sorry. Big Daddy Molina's fall. And this is the 85. Yeah. Or, yeah, this is the big Ultra Tech. This is the 85, the UTX 85. No. I thought that seemed a little resistant when I was popping them down. I was like, well, maybe it's just me. It today. seemed a little big to Yeah. Me. I was like, good Lord, how big's the big one? She said. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Sorry. It's 2020, man. So let's talk about the eight. Uh, let's talk decade. about the. Uh, let's talk. This was what we talked about before. Yes, size this is the 85. Wise. Yeah. Yes. And you can, you can really tell a difference with the movement on this. No, I can't work this one at all. And look, they're not that much different in size. It's 85%. You play with that one, I play with this one. I mean, that is literally the same knife, just 85% of the other. But to me, mm -hmm. this does feel better. Now that we have the yeah. right one in the right place. Oh, yeah. It's much easier to move that yeah. 85 than it is this. But This if, also goes in my pocket better. Yeah. But that's just me. If you look, you've got the same... You've got all the same markings on the go-to. You've got all the same markings, the whole bit. So on the 85, which is at the bottom, that was a 3.125 inch LMAX blade. Go to the top one, this is the full size. This is a 3.35 inch CTS 204P Tanto blade. Uh -huh. Dual finish, uh -huh. uh, has a satin and black coating, 13th of an inch thick, out the front, dual action, auto, thumb slider, T6 aluminum handle, tip down pocket clip, glass breaker, lanyard hole, five inches closed, 8.3 inches overall, and 3.5 ounces. So you're looking at 289 right here. Yep. And 237 right here. Yeah, 237 on the bottom one. Yeah. And so basically you have Big Daddy and yep. Little Boy right here. And, then and just, you've also got the 70, which is a little bit smaller than, 15% smaller than the other one. You should just carry them both. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> <laughs> Where's same, the tag you need removed? That's right. <laughs> same great action, same everything, mm -hmm. um, just a little bit bigger. Oh, they're sharp. Uh, yeah, they're sharp. See? I think the top has got a beef, though. Oh, uh, well, I mean, come on. I mean, it's pretty nice. We also had a lot more blade and girth true. and gravity true. behind this thing. It is true. That's the little baby one right there, UTX. But, and that's the that's the middle child right give there. Give me a box to open, a big crate. This beats them all! Honey, bring the Chewy.com box in here. I need to cut it up. Chewy. I gotta get my I gotta get my DPX cast out. Crank. <laughs> that's right. I broke the tape right off it. Did you see that with my pry bar? It happened. <laughs> we have any questions, God, comments? I want this for Christmas next year. That'd be so much fun. Lord have mercy, the face we just got. I'm telling you. Ugh, don't be mean to Melina. Y'all need to behave. It's four sixteenths and one quarter. Four sixteenths would be one oh. quarter, yes. So that yeah. DPX has is one sixteenth of an inch shy of a quarter inch. Yes. Sweet. Yes, absolutely. Sure. So at three sixteenths, it's one inch. It's one quarter of an inch. It's no. One sixteenth. One sixteenth short of a quarter inch. Yes. Trying to math. Surely math. Here from Fractions. Math. First, I have to find the, lowest, the least common denominator. I need my spreadsheets. I got them all printed out of my bed sheets. You go Google Doc it. What else we got? Anything <laughs> at all? You have anything in your uh, pocket? Uh, uh, Zach asked a question. Okay. What's y'all's New Year's resolution? Ooh. Uh, not to be sick and miss another one of these episodes. That was the first time I've ever had to cancel an episode of Guys Talk Knives in the yeah. two and a half years that we've done them. Yeah. 
And uh, I hope that that doesn't happen. No, I hope we just have much better, great shows, and we keep building this audience. My, that's my resolution. For Mine is two twenty by February. Two twenty by February. Mm-hmm. Nice, nice. Fifteen pounds. 15 and then by summer, pounds, somewhere around two hundred pounds. Nice. That's my goal. That's what he's going to do. He's going to lose the weight. I'm not going to lose any weight. I'm going to keep eating little Debbie. It's going to be good. Okay, comments. <laughs> I know. So little time. So little time. Any other questions, comments, <laughs> thoughts? Anybody want to see anything else? Okay. What's what's in your pocket today? You got anything in your pocket? Oh, I do. I went very old school because it's real cool. I went with the McCarter work knife. You know why this is in my pocket? Because since Christmas, <laughs> this has been the knife I've carried because potentially I have crap to open other people's houses. Yes. And this is right now the sharpest knife that I own. Nice. That's the uh, Rough Rider McCarter work oh, knife. I'm telling Everybody you. keeps asking if we're getting more. The answer is no. Yep. Uh, and we may have that soon in another iteration. So exactly. keep your eyes open. A new iteration means that that will have something different to it, yep. yet it will still be basically the same knife. Yeah, but this this has opened everything from uh, from Barbies to toys to uh, yeah. when I was I, I cooked a beef Wellington for Christmas Eve, and it pretty much opened every package that I needed for the beef Wellington. Nice. I didn't use it to cut the beef Wellington. I used. I wish I had this. <laughs> I yeah. took my CEO with me. Uh, for oh heck yeah! Everything and I have it with me today. It was perfect for packages. Right, that That's slip nice. deep in, flip it open. I'm doing yeah. urine numbers right now. Yeah. I can't convey how many of the these number sold? of those we sold. Yeah. I can tell you that every single time we dropped it in an email, yeah. many, many went out the door. And we would reorder them. And then many, many, many would go out the door. So if you want to be on the cool with the cool kids for twenty nineteen. You're talking about a forty dollar knife. You're talking about a forty dollar yes. knife right here. Um, and Richard Rogers Good Lord. If you're not following him on Instagram, you need to be doing that. He does cool stuff on Instagram. So the, the, tell, tell him what you told me. Okay, so the executive was the original version of this. Yes. Um, and Which is his custom piece that, that yes, was turned into that this. was turned into the CRKT CEO. He'd been showing iterations of this thing that's full size with a flipper. Oh, a flipper. Yeah. And then, if that wasn't enough... He's sitting there with his hand out in one of the pictures, like this is the, the 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 mini version of this, and so it's like that long with a flipper, and I'm like, that is the cool. It, it would the sit CEO inside 85. your. It would sit in your. Yeah, basically, it would <laughs> it would sit inside your shirt pocket and disappear. Yeah, you could probably at that point. Sometimes I carry my pens tucked here. Yeah, you could most likely <laughs> at that point take the mini CEO and just slide it. Right so CRKT. In the I don't know what you got to do. Yep, but that needs to, needs to happen. It needs to happen. The flipper needs to happen. I'm buying one of these soon as I stab myself in the hand with it. I do it actually. Once you find the sweet spot, yep. it's perfect. I love it. It almost comes out like it's an auto once you find the sweet spot. God, it's such a cool one. I'm going to do a, see a, a camera too, Jason's right now. Everybody don't loves a Don't you judge me, Earl. I dig it. Yep, that is the work knife. It's a little bit cleaner than it was. Yeah. Because at one point it, it did, I used it a lot that day cooking. And uh, I almost had to wash the lanyard. It almost had. Blow all over it. <laughs> Camera two. Come to. Ding. Yeah. Yep, CEO. CEO. Telling you, you want to be with the cool kids. ACR you know blade you do. on this thing. It's nice and skinny. It's nice and lean. I mean, this is your box opener, your yep. letter opener, your everyday carry for. It's basically the same size as a Sharpie. This is my peer pressure sales tactic for the year so far. It's a liner lock. You want this knife. Yeah. It's you nice. really, really want 39 this 39 bucks. Yeah. Not going to break the bank. No. Great piece of hardware. And it looks so good. E. I like it. I saw somebody the other day who had taken the pocket clip off. Yes. And they were rocking it, just dropped in their pocket. Nice. That's outright. Uh, they want to see the, the, before you do the rundown. I'm not going to do a rundown. Okay. The, uh, <laughs> the corn again. Oh, cool. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's show them together. We'll go camera two. So, this is the big daddy. This is the tinker. The tinker, yeah. This is the classic SD. That's the front. Both of them have the same thing on the backs. 
Of yes, course, that is the Knives print style. Twenty-four ninety-nine on this one, sixteen ninety-nine on that one. That is the knives, the friend style knives. Don't know if y'all noticed, but yes, it even has the multicolored dots in between. It does. It will be there for you. <laughs> I we think next, that actually is on the description. We next the have knives. the um, SMKW Army version. I love the green, how this yeah. green turned out on this. You have. Um, of course, I'm doing There you that. go. I'm going to stab myself with this. With Classic the SD up there. On the backs of this one, it's just the block smkw.com. Yeah. The back of this, but that's the Tinker and then the Classic SD. Then we also have, let's do it like this. Yeah, it's like a little sign. You have the Sharper Things uh, Tinker and the Classic SD. Sharper Things on that side, Smoky Mountain Knifeworks, smkw.com on the back of that one. So again, yep. $24.99 and uh, $16.99. All three of those are available right now. Yep. They were short runs, so... Yeah, they're not going to be around very long. <coughs> They'll be gone. We had less those. than 100 of each one when they came in, and we've got way less than that now. Yeah. yeah. Much less. Faux show, faux show. Yeah. Any other questions, comments? The lanyard. Yeah. Did you get your lanyard? The lanyard was made... Remind me the name, because I forgot I'm going to make again. you guess for it. Robert? No. No. Richard? No. It starts with an R, doesn't it? No, it starts with an M. I don't know, then. And it rhymes with snowman. Mark. Bowman. Yes. Mark Bowman made this. Yes. I would, Mark, I don't remember your name. I promise at some point. Mark Bowman made these for us for National Knife Day. Was yeah. it not? Yes. See? You see the little, the little she, skull head. Yes. At the top. It's like a little yep. um, like a mummy. Little mummy. Yeah. yeah. A little Aztec mummy. That's what my one of the nephews decided. The, uh, the nine year old said it was mummy. an Aztec mummy. Maybe he's just sleeping in the, Maybe he's a skeleton has a really good sleeping bag. It kind of does look like he's actually a, a mummy in a mummy bag. Yes. Not a daddy bag, but a mummy bag. I hate mummy bags. You ever slept in one of those? I have never slept they in a mummy suck bag. Because you're zipped in and then you have this hood up over your head and you can't move and you can't get out and uh, yeah. I usually um, gotta sleep with an arm out. Just start calling people mummy bag. You are such a mummy bag. <laughs> you're a mummy bag. You're such a mummy bag, you may be claustrophobic. Any other questions, comments, thoughts, concerns? No. Cool. Okay, so so that I have to keep myself uh, this thing you're gonna start seeing a brand new segment that's gonna drop every single day yes called get to the point and we will do a one minute long video that features a knife every single day it'll be my ugly mug and then my hands doing this kind of thing showing you what's out there it's and, cool though uh, but if we're gonna drop that starting very very soon in fact I'll start filming the first ones tomorrow sweet which means we should see them what probably next week probably by the weekend Oh, very cool. Yeah. That'll be fun. Yeah. And so you'll start seeing those every day uh, daily just yeah. anything and everything uh, Probably a lot of what you see here will be cool. featured individually. I and like shown. it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, we're brought to you by Smoky Mountain Knife Works, smkw.com, the world's largest knife store. If you have not been to our online store, go. Lots of great stuff. Yes. If you've not been to the retail location in Sevierville, go. Make the pilgrimage, people. Make the pil pilgrimage. It is incredible. 108,000 square foot of showroom. It's hard to find, feet, though. Foot. Something. It's hard to find. It's easy to miss. You drive right by it. Yeah, the giant blue roof is hard to uh, find. <laughs> so, if you come to the Smoky Mountains in East Tennessee, you you're to going go. to take I-40. Yes. You're going to. Yes. You're going to take exit 407. Yes. Because you're going to. Yes. You're going to see a sign that says, Gatlinburg, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge. I actually think in that order, which is the wrong order. Yes. But fine. You're going to turn, and then three and a half, four miles down the road, you're going to cross a bridge and immediately. Huge blue roof. Big building. Very big Jason building. Harrington's probably outside it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, 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 it's something you need to see. If you've never been here, come yes. see it. We have yes. 1.5 million visitors walk through the door every single yep. year. Um, guys. Do you realize that's almost a full percent of the people who come in? How many people come to this movie? 12 this year. 12 million? Yeah. Almost 10%. There you go. Go it, come in the store every year. <laughs> We've done this number several times, and my dad actually pointed out that Jason's off by a whole I 9%. Am by a whole 9%. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. I was going to let you do it again, too. I did. Um, <laughs> Just so I could say, he did it again, Dad. But a full 10% of the people who come to the Smokies stop at Smoky Mountain here. Networks. I bet that's better than most places. I would guess so, but you can get lost for three hours in here. Yeah, you can. Absolutely. And it's free to come inside. 
Guys, we're going to do these every Tuesday and Thursday. Well, yep. most every Tuesday and Thursday. We're going to do yeah. as much as we possibly can. Uh, watch for the new segment to drop. Get on Instagram. Get on Twitter. Get on Facebook and follow us there. There are always a giveaway going on uh, both Facebook and Instagram every single week. Yep. Those come out. Those drop on Wednesdays. We tell you who won on Fridays. Just get out there and get entered. It's a lot of great stuff. SHOT Show is the end of this month. Yes. There will be new announcements from every single knife company that you follow. I guarantee it. And soon after that, we'll have new stuff rolling in and new stuff to put on the site. And you're all going to go, oh, my Lord, I need that and that and that and that and that and that and that. Start planning now so you can attend Blade Show in June. It's June oh, 5th through the 7th yes. this year in Atlanta, Georgia. Oh, giveaways. We should do a giveaway. We should. Hmm. Um, <laughs> let's do let's do the SD Classic in each of these. Okay. Okay. That's Unless fine. you had a different idea. No, I didn't. I didn't. Um, yeah, let's do that. Yeah. So it'll be a collection giveaway. It cool. will be the Classic SD and the Sharper Things knives and SMKW Army Classic SDs. Very cool. And uh, let's say just. Hashtag. Happy 2020. Yes, hashtag happy 2020. That's what you got to put in a comment wherever you're watching right now. Uh, this has been another episode of Guys Talk Knives. Uh, Angela has been kind enough to be running the board for Thank us. You, Melina has been handling all of your questions. Thank you, Melina. This man is Jason right here. I'm Andy. And thanks for watching a whole another epitode. 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 I love the epitode. That's the toad that comes after the other toads. He's the epitode. A whole another episode of Guys Talk Knives Live. We will see you on Tuesday of next week. Yes, indeed. Catch you next time. I think we should drive that through a car hood. But how are you going to steer it?